Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we're seeing an interesting rogue object in space. We're watching mainstream news accidentally debunk mainstream climate talking points, and we've got solar forcing in the weakening magnetic field of Earth as well. We're starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find a mostly quiet day. Solar flaring remains in low emission range, filaments were calmer, minor snaps and collapses only. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are calming here at Earth, and for now, while we're keeping an eye on the sunspots, it's the coronal hole here, dark and looming, that has our solar wind forecast tingling. Enhanced stream expected near the weekend, after this opening directly faces us tomorrow and magnetically connects to Earth over the next 48 hours. We're off to space. They found an interesting rogue megaplanet, or failed dwarf star. They're not actually sure. It's odd because its brightness changes are extreme, beyond what can be explained by clouds. Almost like the emission surge of stellar ignition, which is eluding this object, is in a constant low-level state of sputtering, resulting in some of the most extreme light changes they've seen, and on a lone rogue object as well. Very interesting quick note here about the recent story that's going around the internet. Yes, they found human artifacts unearthed by melting snow and ice about 3,000 years old and a frozen forest buried 6,000 years ago. While being a pretty cool archaeological find, it's yet another study piling on the idea that it was hotter mid-Holocene just a couple thousand years ago, and then it got colder, and these artifacts and a forest got entirely covered with snow. So no, we are not in the hottest period ever, or the last 100,000 years, or the last 10,000 years. Up next, excellent study on solar forcing in the monsoons. Precipitation patterns are dominated by monsoon season in many places of the world, including India and China, where well over half the world lives. Solar and volcanic controls of these patterns over time are robust, and they keep being confirmed. Last but not least, folks, there's an emerging pattern. Small space weather causes unusually strong Earth effects, we blame the weakening magnetic field of Earth. It happens over and over, and then two years later, a paper comes out trying to explain what happened. Always nonsense. Always. Folks, they can explain these away until they're blue in the face, but when they've had to do it a dozen times in two years, their silence on Earth's excess vulnerability is deafening. Pole shift marching on whether they like it or not. And the Pole Shift conferences kick back up this month at Observer Ranch. There's one every month. Don't forget, Dr. Robitaille is coming at the end of April to start the season. Dr. Dunning will be the weekend after that for the Kings of Catastrophe. See all the events at ObserverRanch.com. Check out our Observer Bot, grab our books and merchandise, but most importantly, plan your trip to come see us in person. ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow right here, but right now it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.